Good afternoon, my Berserker Patriot Store family. So, I've prayed for guidance four different times today and opened three different Bibles, okay? And the Lord has put it on my heart and my mind to read a couple pages from the Bible from you because I've opened the same exact pages in all three Bibles when I've asked for guidance on what He wants me to deliver to you and tell you. So, I'm not going to interpret the Bible for you. I'm going to let the Lord do that in His own words. This is Isaiah. Praise for deliverance. Sorry about my reading. TBI, you know, traumatic brain injury. Um, I'll do my best. <clears throat> Let me roll my window up here. I hope you guys are having a blessed day in light of everything that's happening. Um, I will be doing a live tonight just because a lot of stuff is going on right now. I will tell of the Lord's unfailing love. I will praise the Lord for all he has done. I will rejoice in his great goodness to Israel, which he has granted according to his mercy and love. He said, They are my very own people. Surely they will not betray me again. And he became their savior. In all their suffering, he also suffered. And he personally rescued them in his love and mercy. He redeemed them. He lifted them up and carried them through all the years. But they rebelled against him and grieved his Holy Spirit. So he became their enemy and fought against them. Then they remembered those days of old when Moses led his people out of Egypt. They cried out, Where is the one who brought Israel through the sea? With Moses as their shepherd. Where is the one who sent his Holy Spirit to be among his people? Where is the one whose power was displayed when Moses lifted up his hand? The one who divided the sea before them, making himself famous forever. Where is the one who led them through the bottom of the sea? They were like fine stallions racing through the desert, never stumbling, as with cattle going down into a peaceful valley. The Spirit of the Lord gave them rest. Led you, you led your people, Lord, and gained a magnificent reputation. This will be coming up. The prayer for mercy and pardon. Lord, look down from heaven. Look from your holy, glorious home. And see us. Where is the passion and the might you used to show on behalf, on our behalf? Where are your mercy and compassion now? Surely you are still our father. Even if Abraham and Jacob would disown us, Lord, you would still be our father. You are our redeemer from ages past. Lord, why have you allowed us to turn from your path? Why have you given us stubborn hearts so we no longer fear you? Return and help us. For we are your servants, the tribes that you that are your specific possessions. How briefly your holy people possessed your holy place, and now our enemies have destroyed it. Sometimes it seems as though we never belong to you, as though we had never been known as your people. Oh, that you would burst from the heavens and come down. How the mountains would quake in your presence as fire causes wood to burn and water to boil, you coming would make the nations tremble. Then your enemies would learn the reason for your fame. When you came down long ago, you did awesome deeds beyond our highest ex expectations. And oh, how the mountains quaked, for since the world began, no ear has heard and no eye has seen a God like you, who works for those who wait for him. You welcome those who gladly do good, who follow godly ways, but you have been very angry with us, for we have 
we are not godly. We are constant sinners. We, how can people like us be saved? We are all infected and impure with sin. When we display our righteous deeds, they are nothing but filthy rags. Like autumn leaves, with we wither and fall, and our sins sweep us away like the wind. Yet no one calls out your name or pleads with you for mercy. Therefore, you have turned away from us and turned us over to our sins. And yet, O Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you are the potter. We all are formed by your hands. Don't be so angry with us, Lord. Please don't remember our sins forever. Look at us, we pray. And see that we are all your people. Your holy cities are destroyed. Zion is a wilderness. Yes, Jerusalem is a desolate ruin. The holy and beautiful temple where our ancestors praised you has been burned down and all the things of beauty are destroyed. After all this, Lord, must you still refuse to help us? Will you continue to be silent and punish us? Judgment and final salvation. The Lord says, I was ready to respond, but not one asked for help. I was ready to be found, but not one was looking for me. I said, here I am, here I am. Not a nation that didn't, to a nation that did not call out to my name. All day long I opened my arms to a rebellious people, but you follow their own evil paths and their own crooked schemes. All day long they insult me to my face by worshiping idols and their sacred gardens. They burn incense on pagan altars at night. They go out among the graves worshiping the dead. They eat the flesh of pigs and make stews with our forbidden foods. Yet they say to each other, don't come too close or you would defile me. I am holier than you. These people are a stench in my nostrils, <clears throat> an acrid smell that never goes away. Look, my decree is written out in front of me. I will not stand silent. I will, will repay them in full. Yes, I will repay them, both of their own sins and for those of their ancestors, says the Lord. For they also burnt incense on the mountains and insulted me on the hills. I will pay them back in full, but I will not destroy them all, says the Lord. For just as good grapes are found among a cluster of bad ones, and some will say, don't throw them all away. Some of those grapes are good, so I will not destroy all of Israel. For I still have true servants there. I will preserve a remnant of the people of Israel and of Judah to possess my land. Those I, I don't know where that accent just came from. Those I choose will inherit it, and my servants will live there. The plain of Sharon will again be filled with flocks. For my people who have searched for me in the valley of Achor will be a place to persuade herds, pasture herds. That's all I'm going to give you for the day because my brain can't go any further right now. But as you can see, I'm starting to stumble a little bit. Um, I love you guys. I hope you're having a blessed day. Um, it's just a crazy world we're living in, and we just need to remember, even if you just pick your Bible up and read a couple pages every day, you know, it'll start to change your life immensely um so be safe and be blessed